Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 4 of that memo, the world 45, the permanent one. Last episode we finished off with 85 Slayer. I managed to get 94 strength, 109 combat. So right now, the first thing I'm gonna do is chin my range up. It's quite early on, it's a Saturday, uh, but it's like 10 p.m. So I think I should be five. I have like 2k chins to throw. That would probably get me like 90 plus range. So let's start with that. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a pretty bad if I die at the, at the beginning of the episode, but we'll see. Let's go. Uh, I don't expect anyone to be there, but maybe there's a scout there who logs in every hour to check if someone is chinning. I'm gonna do it at the Monkey Madness uh, one cave, so not Monkey Madness two. Haven't started that quest and don't have the requires for for it anyway. So let's go. Hopefully we don't die. And there we go, guys. Managed to get 88 range. The first trip went really smooth. Didn't encounter anyone. Uh, I got like 800 black ones left in the bank. I used to run 770 red ones in this trip. And yeah, I want to give a big shout out to Wise Tanker. He hooked me up with the chin. So big shout out to him. And this will definitely get me 90 plus. So I'm going to throw this black ones now. And there we go. Second trip went smooth as well. We managed to get 90 range, 92 HP, which puts us still on 109 combat. We, we basically got the goal, which was 90 range. But I'm not going to lie. I was expecting a bit higher range. I thought I was going to end up with 91, maybe 92, but I'll take it, 90 range, pretty sick. Uh, for now, I'm not going to chin anymore, 90 is good enough for me. Maybe when I, once I'm like 90 attack, 90 defense and 99 strength, then I might get my range up, but for now 90 is good. I can PK with 90, I can PVM with 90, so that's all good. So now I'm going to go back to Slayer, I still have the Fire Giant task at left from the previous episode. So let's get our stats up, I'm going to get 99 range first, 99 strength first. Sell my Abbey Dagger and then train my attack and defense with the whip, I guess. And there we go, we just managed to finish the Fire Giant task. I had like 70 left from the previous episode. Let's get a new task. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna get Abyssal Demons first try? Uh, let's find out. I want just an easy task where I can get a lot of melee SP from now on. So come on, don't let me down, Eve. Bloodfields, perfect task. Big shout out to Wise Tank, he's hooking me up with 25 emblems for the rune pouch that will help me with PVMing and PV PKing. So I will exchange these in a second and get my rune pouch. So I can't really remember what the last thing I did was, but yeah, I've been questing my ass off. About to get Barrow's Close, I still need to do the final boss, and yeah, I did all the easy quests, all the free to play quests just to get the Barrow's Close. But I did do the pre quests for Monkey Madness 2, except one quest, uh, the Enlightened Journey, and yeah, there we go. We also need 70 crafting and 60 hunter, but I'm gonna do that later on. Uh, I'm not in a rush to finish Monkey Madness 2 yet. I got my range level up uh, to 90 and 99 mage is fine for now. I'm probably gonna chin my uh, 99 range at Monkey Madness 2 once I do complete it. But for now I wanna focus on Moldy stats. And yeah, I also did the pre-quests for Zura, just in case I want to do Zura on 45, but I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do a lot of God Wars. Uh, just built my Yano portal, I just finished Watchtower quest, so I can teleport to Yano faster. Uh, reason for that is I don't, uh, otherwise I would have to teleport to Castle Wars and then walk all the way there. And you never know who's speaking at Castle Wars. Uh, anyways, also needed this for Nightmare Zone in case I do get a Ring of Suffering one day because it's the best slot in uh, best ring in slot, best ring in slot. I don't know how to say it. Uh, so in case I need to imbue my uh, Ring of Suffering. So for now I'm gonna go to Lumbridge, finish finish the final boss fight, and buy my Barrow's Clothes, and then we're gonna go back to training. I wanna get 90 attack neck, no 99 strength, 90 attack, and 90 defense, and then we're gonna do PVMing. I think. I might even chill my defense up, but I'm not sure, depending on if I do finish Monkey Madness 2. Enough talking, let's do the final boss fight. And there we go, final boss done. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use the XP lamp on. Uh, I have actually no idea. I would use it on like Herbal or something, but I'm like only 27. And I think you need like level 50 at least. Yeah, level 50. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it on. Maybe Slayer, but I don't really see if it's worth it. Uh, I think I'm gonna use it on agility instead to be honest. Yeah, there we go uh, I think I want to get 72 agility because that's the shortcut for something. I'm not sure Neve's cave or something Let's elk these dragon gloves and get myself barrels gloves. There we go about to get it 130 are they 130k? Yeah, there we go. Also completed the hard task I guess Finally barrels gloves on 45 dead mode. Uh, didn't expect me to say that to be honest barrels gloves on dead mode but yeah, this is the permanent one, so it's actually worth getting it. And I was already so close to it. I had like 130 quest points when I had the Dragon Gloves. And I was like, I might as well just get Barrel's Gloves until 
uh, before I even get max stats. So I was gonna get it eventually. Might as well just get it before I'm training my stats up. So yeah, I'm not even sure what my Slayer task is. Let me get the gem out and see what this. I think I had blood fields, but I'm not even sure. Yeah, there we go, 140. Uh, let's go back to Slayer, I guess. So I decided to take a break from doing Slayer and train my combat stats. And I decided to do some raids with a couple friends, clan members, and Wise Tank hooked me up with Arams and Oakle Necklace Anguish. So big shout out to him for lending me the max gear for raids. Uh, basically missing out a couple things, and yeah, the Twisted Bow. Nah, just kidding. Uh, Whoopi's pretty sick to have a Twisted Bow in that mode, to be honest, but yeah. Uh, it's kind of risky because the item is worth one bill and you're basically targeted. Anyway, so I decided to do raids, uh, try and get an item, and I'm also trying to get the Ancient Tablet to teleport to raids with the ter Xerox Talisman. But yeah, I went 15, 15 raids dry without getting any drop, so spoiler alert. Also, didn't get the Ancient Tablet, which is 1 in 5, and I'm over the drop rate 3 times now. But yeah, I can't really complain, so hopefully I get it uh, really soon though, because I don't have the tablet yet and I have to walk all the way here from the house portal in Zia, so that's basically a long trip and I have to go through multi, but yeah, I don't think anyone would be PKing there, but yeah, the one time that you get unlucky and someone is there, you're kind of screwed. So yeah, I did a lot of raids, also got the lead clue here, which is 1 in 100, I think. But yeah, that's so rare, like, I, I didn't, I've never gotten a lead clue in old school, let alone in Deadman mode. So yeah, the regular drops were pretty nice as well, like some torstos went, went for 10k each, some herbs, some gems that I used for crafting XP as well. Also encountered one time that the PK was on me, when I was banking. Basically, we have scouts outside uh, just in case uh, someone is PKing there, so we can bank, bank safely. But there's this one time that the PK got on me and I actually recorded it, so I'll show that clip after this. And yeah, I also got the Xerox Talisman, which I did after the raids. So all I now need is the Ancient Tablet. So I went to the Dangerous Zone multi here. I need to get my Talisman in case I do get the Ancient Tablet. Give me a second, I'm trying to focus. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and get the freeze. Give me a second. My inventory is so fucked right now. Mm -hmm. Banking some stuff. Wait, I need house tabs. Yeah, I know. Where can I hug him though? Wait, I got the house tabs. Why can I hug him around the hut? Fucker, it's so hard, man. Legit. He has claws, by the way. I got him. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I promised you guys to do some PVMing, so I decided to do some raids. I'll probably mix it up in the next coming episodes episodes, and do some God Wars and stuff. Uh, also, I'm going to train my account. And first thing I'm going to do is probably get the Ancient Tablet for raids. And then probably train my stats to 90 base. This is basically my alt account, my main. Also, a lot of people have been PMing me uh, lately, like and PMing me saying that they have stuff on 45 they don't use anymore because they never play it. They used to play it back in the days when it was active. 
And yeah, like I got all these items donated from people that don't actually play the game anymore. So I was wondering if any of you guys have ever played 45 and have still have some stuff on it and don't use it anymore. And I would probably take those items, even if it's like junk, rune items, like alcohols, logs, I'll take anything, I guess. Because there's no GE, uh, they're still working on it and it's kind of hard to get items. So if you do, uh, I'll be in my CC what the fuck 7 so... Also, I will put my private on if you want to PM me. Just come my CC what the fuck 7 if you have some stuff to donate to. Uh, the stuff you're not using, I guess. So yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to give the video a like and see you in the next episode.